Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Dana Goodwill, and over there is John Landowski. I don't know which side he's on, so <laughs> how you guys look at it, it is what it is. All right, so as you guys will see, the we split this up into two parts because one part I didn't want, I wanted to go full for, full, full for, full bore into something, and it took up our whole allotment time for our show. So you get two shows for one today. So today, the Admirals also took on the Texas Stars, who lead our division. Um, with that being said, a um, couple things I noticed. One, Devin Cooley, I have a message. Keep your glove up. And I'm not talking about keep your gloves up as in I want to, like, fight. I mean, when they're shooting at you and you're like this or this, and you have to go like that, takes a lot more effort than to go like this, and if the puck's low, clamp down. So, if you're wondering, yes, that is my my only gripe today. With that. So, I got that out of the way early. Now we can just focus on the game. John, the game. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so today the admirals took on the texas stars in the first period texas outshot milwaukee 12 to 6 in the second period milwaukee outshot texas 75 um in the third period texas outshot milwaukee 14 to 5 and in total texas outshot milwaukee 31 to 18 lowest total the admirals of lowest total of shots the admirals have had all season yeah and then on the power play, Milwaukee went one for two with eight minutes, three infractions. And Texas went 0 for four with four minutes, two infractions. Wait a minute. How did they get four power plays on three? That's a good, that, that's a good question. Is that the double minor? That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Double minor. Okay. I mean, the Admirals' penalty kill did great. But right. starting the first with Zach Sanford, who's been red hot lately. Um, with his fourth of the season with assist from Jimmy Huntington, his 15th and Kevin Graval. Then uh, Mete uh, Blummel scored his, Lumel scored his ninth with an assist from Ryan Shea, his 12th, and Riley Barber, his 15th. Then Igor. Wow, I haven't said Igor's name a lot lately. Igor Afanasia with his ninth with an assist from Jakob Kondalik, who's been also hot. Then the second period, Marcus Nermi scores his 12th of the year on the power play, assisted by John Lennard, his 16th, and Mark Delgaizo, his 13th. Another one getting warmer. Right. Then Cole Schneider scores his 14th of the year, assisted by Marcus Nermi, his 10th. Then Rhett Gardner scores his fifth of the year, assisted by Will Butcher, his 21st. That goal was one of those, uh, as a goalie, you wish you had it back kind of thing. Right. Uh, but these are a different story. Oscar Beck for the Texas Stars scores his fourth with an assist from Ben Gleason. Pow, right in the kisser. Uh, is it also an assist from Alex Petrovic, his ninth, and Gle that was Gleason's 11th. Then Ryan Shea scores his third with an assist from Maverick Bork, his 11th, and Alex Petrovic, his 10th. Then Marion Studnik his scores his 12th with an assist from Will Butcher, his 22nd, and Oscar Beck, his 15th. Admirals fall 5-4. to four. On the on the crap list uh, before I get into the goalies because you already know Cooley's on that list. Mark Delgaizo, Tim Schaller, and that is it. The Admirals got hemmed out there. This was a team loss. This was not, this was one of those tomorrow come back chucking. You know, because now you're after tomorrow, you're off to Wednesday. You got two days to rest. Give everything you got tomorrow because you got embarrassed today. 
I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This was an embarrassing loss. Yeah. Not the basis that, you know, it was embarrassing on the fact that they did lose, but on the fact that Anton Hudobin had, well, seven saves on 11 shots. And Matt Murray, you only get seven shots on him total in 31 minutes. You only get seven shots. You backed way off your game. Yeah. Your foot on the throat and push down. <sighs> so, three stars of the game. Uh, third star of the game was Alex Petrovic, Pete, two assists. Riley Shea had is the second star. He had a goal and an assist. And Marion Studnick went with the game winning goal. Attendance, attendance at the HEB Center in Cedar Park was 6,778. Nice attendance. Um, referees Jordan Decker and Rob Hennessy. Ooh, can I have some? <laughs> Good joke there. Uh, linesmen were Michael Miggins and Carl Sands. Does he go Super Sands? <laughs> when he gets mad? All right, so... On that note, um, it'll be interesting to see what tomorrow brings as the Admirals take on the Stars, so you'll see us tomorrow as well. You're pretty much going to see us every day this week, upcoming. Uh, stars tomorrow. Let's see. I'll give you the full. Um... That it's Flames and Preds, that it's Blue Jackets and Preds, then we play Springfield. Cameron Knight Admirals fans, come on out, get your picture taken with your favorite player. Um, that it's Preds at the Blues, then it's Admirals at Iowa, back to back nights, and then we also have a double that night playing the Kings. Then we get a nice needed two day break. Question, John. Now, those of you that saw see our Preds video, this is a slight extension of that. I wasn't <laughs> ready. We ran out of time. So, all right. Out of this. All right. So, John, you think the Preds could beat the Flames? Possible, yes. Not likely, I don't think, though. Blue Jackets. That should be a win. We should hope. <laughs> the Blue Jackets are awful this year. Mm, all, I, and I mean that in no offense to Blue Jackets fans. I'm literally saying you guys signed Johnny Gaudreau and can't win. Um, The Blues. Now, that's going to be a tough one. And I know how our rivalry is with the Blues, so we'll see how they handle it. Right. Kings. I think we're going to get dog walked. Yeah, I think so, too. So, I mean, here's the thing. If we don't win a game out of this and Hines still has a job, and if, if we go seven straight losses, then Hines and Poyle still have a job. Preds fans. I normally don't ask of this, but stop showing up. What's the best way to change this? Change it and voice your opinion as a fan. If you are truly upset if we lose seven in a row, they have four games this week. If they lose all four, that's seven in a row. If Heinz still has a job over that, Laviolette was going to get fired no matter what he did because. Coyle wanted Hines as his coach. And it didn't matter. The minute the Devils fired him, he knew he wanted him as his coach. And good luck having fun with this because the Preds will be moved to a five-day schedule. We will cover them Wednesday through Sunday if that happens. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. That's, that's just a simple fact. Because we need the two-day break. I can't do this 
this way. It's hurting my love of the game. My love of these teams. This hurts because I don't see improvement. All right. And congratulations to Matt Harding on his Buffalo Sabres winning. <laughs> I know he watches our podcast. He's a Sabres fan, first Preds fan, second. So, um, m- unlike me, who I'm a Preds fan first and a Sabres fan second. <laughs> That's why we get along. But uh, yeah, it, it, this one, these two, the, today hurts. By the way, congratulations, John, on your. Jacksonville Jaguars making their turnaround tonight. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and watch that game. <laughs> you turned it off and they came back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, third biggest comeback in history also to the cap to Ovi. 30 goals, 17th time in his career. Yep, quite a feat. <laughs> I, I mean, that's like every year of his career. Yeah. <laughs> like I couldn't imagine like, he's going to catch Gretzky if he plays another two seasons. Right. At this pace, he's going to catch him. I mean, you know, and he's also an elite hockey player. You don't draft those guys in the middle of the draft. You only get that by being one of the worst teams in the world. Right. And unfortunately, yeah, that's that's happening. Heads up, by the way, Rockford Ice Hogs. See y'all February 11th. It's official. I'll be there. See you. Have a great night.